Hello, my name is X Junoel, assistant curator at the Guggenheim Museum in New York. Welcome to my highlights of this year's SIAC online viewing room. My selection of the artworks is a composite of diverse artistic practices and perspectives in various media dating from 1963 to today. I have chosen not to follow any particular overarching theme, logic, or even any art historical narratives, but um, simply select great works for you. There are a few running threads that emerged after my selection, and um, it helped me to connect different practices and put them in relations. And I would like to present with you some of these running threads today so that it will help you to navigate the FIAC online viewing room. So one of the threads that um, runs through this selection is various negotiations about and proximity to abstraction. These works offer counter narratives to the historically modernist approach to form and function. Instead, um, abstraction here is intimately related to perception and the body. For instance, in Yang Jiechang's critical early works on 1990, A Hundred Layers of Ink, the artist slowly layers ink on top of each other, hence the title A Hundred Layers of Ink. This work really presents a different relationship to abstraction, which is deeply rooted in Eastern philosophy and uh, meditation practices. Jean quick to see Smith is um, I See Red, Grandma Grandma, Red in the Hood, 1998, presented by Garthor Greener Gallery in New York, is another amazing example. This work, um, artist really navigates legibility, opacity, and representation through a series of artistic um, articulations such as blurring, layering, and dripping. I often visit art fairs to expose myself to works by artists that I didn't know before. In this case, I was very pleasant to learn about the work by Alexandra Smith, presented by Martos Gallery in New York, and also Deborah Segan's work, presented by The Breeder in Athens. Another thread that also connects this grouping is um, the exploration of alternative representations of the body as a means to dispel or reclaim perceived notions of otherness. I'm extremely attracted to these two works by Lyle Ashton Harris, Heart Attack in Blue and um, Billy Dreaming in Blue. Both, um, both of them were presented by Salon 94 in New York. These works were initially shot for artists Billy Boxer Better Day series from 2002 and have not been exhibited or even made available to collectors before. So we're very lucky here. And um, these works consider how life is animated through movement and performance and interrogate how identity is constructed through our relational experiences with others. I also really enjoyed it, the video work by Julian Crozet titled Cloud Cloudy Glory Doodles on the Leaves Pages. Memory Slowly the Story, Redness Sadness, Bloody Redness on the Skin, presented by Document Gallery in Chicago. This French Caribbean artist and poet is definitely an artist to watch. A third thread that weaves this um, constellation of works is an interest in the French intellectual movements, mysticisms, um, and schools of intellectual histories that have operated outside of mainstream Western intellectual centers. Works um, by Gertrude Ambercombe, Guo Feng Yi, and even um, Api Chapan Willa Satakun are great examples of practices that are deeply rooted in alternative histories of spirituality, different belief systems, rituals, or even different ways of sensing, really. And um, what I've also included are some of the works by my favorite artists, such as Otobong Nkanga, um, Ali Cherry, Roma Ondak, and Cao Fei. 
And、um, these works presented here on the OVR really offers a glimpse into a complex systems of practices that put forward by these artists. And I'm really excited to see some of the works here、um, on the platform. Lastly, the final standout piece for me is this neon work by Yael Bertana from 2017, presented by Captain Petzl in Berlin, entitled "Trampling Times." This work gets my favorite title award. So, with that, I really hope you enjoyed my selection and、uh, have a great visit to the Fiac OVR. And thank you so much for watching.